Hello everybody, welcome back. So I have received yet another uh, package and um, one of my YouTube viewers helped me buy some Miltoniopsis orchids because um, well in my city we don't receive any more Miltoniopsis. There used to be only one shop that uh, sells um, Miltoniopsis but um, that one it is closed forever so uh, no more Miltoniopsis for me I guess and on eBay it is quite expensive anyway she helped me and uh, also Miss Orchid Girl has some uh, Miltoniopsis orchids here inside so let's see what we choose <laughs> okay so my kitty thinks it's really funny to play with this uh, packing peanuts so you will see her all around this video because uh, well that's what she does usually so yeah excuse her presence now as you can see my friend packed everything really really nice she put some packing peanuts inside so my orchids won't get damaged also she packed the orchids with uh, some tissue and some elastics so won't fall any medium inside and uh, yeah, let's see the first one. It seems it is quite a big Miltoniopsis. I see quite a lot of pseudo bulbs, so um, let's open it up. Okay, so I have unpacked my Miltoniopsis. This is indeed my Miltoniopsis, and it is packed in some um, large chunks of bark. That is not really recommended for Miltoniopsis orchids, but anyway, I will repot it so it doesn't matter. I'm quite happy because, um, well, the color is really pretty as you can see, and she is really fragrant. And um, yeah, she has uh, quite a lot of sparkles. But the most important it is that uh, I have quite a lot of roots there inside the pot. From what I can see, I see a few root tips that stop growing. And this is my second Miltoniopsis. Um, it looks quite pretty. She has a bit of a waterfall, but uh, the flowers didn't last on transport. But uh, that is that. Miltoniopsis orchids can't keep their orchids on transport. So, yeah. Uh, this one it is not that big and not that healthy. It has only two bulbs and um, a new shoot right there. And um, it is quite wobbly in the pot. It is potted in coconut husk with peat moss. And um, from what I know, Miltoniopsis orchids hate this uh, medium. So I am expecting the root system to be quite bad there inside. And here we have uh, this uh, red beauty. It has a pretty, pretty waterfall model on the lip. It has uh, quite a nice color. My orchid has uh, a few good bulbs, but uh, from what I can see, it's quite wobbly in the pot, and that means she doesn't have too many roots. That is a shame, but I know how to save Miltoniopsis and I am alright with that. I have three big bulbs and um, a new shoot that is quite stressed and it is forming a new spike. Uh, normally, if a Miltoniopsis orchid has enough roots, it won't do that, but this one, it is short stressed. Next, it is my Miltoniopsis Her Alexander. This one smells delicious. It has a white flower with um, with those purple spots on the petals. Uh, this one it is quite dehydrated. It is in a bad state. It has only two little bulbs that uh, are a bit dehydrated, and um, it doesn't have roots. Unfortunately, I see I see a few good root tips. Um, so uh, I have my hopes high for this one. I will try to save it with you in another video. And this one, it is Danny's um, white Miltoniopsis. This is a no ID for now. Um, this one has uh, quite a nice model. As you can see here, the flowers didn't um, fare the transport, but that is okay. She will bloom it again. Uh, it has two pseudo bulbs that are quite plump and uh, I can see a few roots here and here so uh, I'm pretty sure the orchid will be okay and um, I hope she will manage to revive it and grow it successfully in Cyprus. 
and this one it is done is Miltoniopsis her Alexander she will get um, the Miltoniopsis that is a bit more healthier than the other one because in Cyprus it is a warmer, warmer climate and Miltoniopsis don't really like that so uh, she needs to have a better chance to grow this one I see a few good roots here. The medium it is completely stinky, but that is another story. It has two few bulbs. Again, a bit wrinkly, but I am pretty sure the orchid will be okay because it has uh, some alive roots, and that is all this orchid needs. Danny will do perfectly fine if she has a Miltoniopsis that will um, give her at least one chance to revive the orchid. You can see there she has another flower spike and the Isha it is completely bored by my video. Okay guys, so this was all. Thank you for watching. If you have liked this video and you found it useful, hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel because I post new orchid videos every single Monday and Friday. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.